G'day folks, welcome to the show. And have we got a show for you. Hey Jennifer, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's go fishing. Okay. What are you doing back there? Nothing. Nothing. Well, fair enough. G'day folks and welcome to the show. And today I'm with Jenny Lurch, who you will remember from Broome catching some magnificent threadfin salmon. And today we're in South Queensland. Our Brisbane about an hour and a half easy drive over here. And down there is the Great Dividing Range and this is Lake Mugra. And you know a little bit about the lake. I do. Uh, Mugra apparently is, down, is Aboriginal and it means land of the storms. Well, I tell you what, we're going to cook up a storm here today, folks. We're going to fish for some magnificent bass that have been released into this impoundment. And Mr Bass in South Queensland, none other than the big bloke over there, and that's Harry Watson. He's going to take us out, so come along. Let's do some fishing together. Jennifer, he hit that like an express train. Did he? Oh, gee, went thump. Yeah, they're good fun. Oh, aren't they? Now, you're one up on me here because you came with Harry here last week and did it okay too, didn't you? I did. Well, the spinner bait's done it again, folks. I tell you what, these are very, very good. Now, that's a serious fish, Harry. Look at that. Wow. Now, that is a very nice fish. Put him on the scale there, mate. Now, folks, that is a serious fish. That is actually 187 centimetres long. <laughs> <laughs> you no, it was 47 and a half <laughs> centimetres long. And that's a serious fish. I tell you what, folks, this is a fantastic success story. These fish are going in about as half as big as my little finger. In seven or eight years, they're up around this magnificent looking fish's size. Look at that, the lure just came out. I'll just get you to hold that, Jenny. Yes. And what I'll do is I'll just sort of give him the breath of life. A little bit of a kiss and put him back in. And he's actually biting on my thumb. So, mate, off you go. That's good, he's got lots of energy Look at that, in. away he goes. He gave a bit of a kick too. Yep. And what I wanted to just sort of say, if I'd have said that you can go to the disco with a pair of these on your earrings, you'd say that'd be fantastic. But that is a very, very good lure, isn't it? It certainly is. It certainly brings up the fish. Yeah. Now, you're part of the Fish and Chicks who won a magnificent section of the broom sailfish, and part of your sort of tenure is to tease the fish up so you can get a bait. And this is nothing more or less than actually teasing the fish of these particular fenders, isn't it? That's correct. The weight in the head gives you some sort of weight to cast and then the skirt goes along and fluffs up and down but that's what attracts them these little things here no. just absolutely magnificent tina turner there you are Oh! 
yes. Okay. How you going? Good. There's some yes. vegetation down there, isn't there? There is. Oh, nice fish. Look at him. Oh, there's a bit of colour. Oh, a bit of colour and it's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Look at him. Yeah, he's a beauty. You caught bass before, haven't you? I did. A couple of days ago. Yeah. Came up here and did a bit of a recce for us <laughs> with Harry. Look at that. You just got him too. Beautiful looking fish. Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give him a kiss, eh? Look at that. Just beautiful. Oh, well done. Bit of a challenge. Off you go. Done. I tell you what. Another one. The bait. Beautifully done. Yep. There's lots of fish in these waters. Isn't it lovely? It's a great place to come. It certainly is. Catch fish of all different sizes. Yeah, mainly big ones like this one. <laughs> There's um, a beautiful, you? serious fish. Serious oh, fish. look at that. Look at that. Nice colours. Oh, beautiful fish. Wow, aren't they just absolutely grab these in this particular impoundment. Gee whiz. Well, I'll pick him up in the mouth because I'll get that hook on in me, so bring, okay. bring him in. And might we'll just uh, lay him down there. Okay. He's a nice size fish. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Just loosen that. See if we can get that out. Look, that's going to come out just easy like that. Perfectly. Isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful fish? Oh, he is. And a tag in him oh, as well. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Someone's tagged him. Yeah, someone has tagged him. I think uh, K for Ken, 00314. Yes, up the back you've won the chook, madam. Thank you very much. So there you are. So we've recorded that. Yes. And I tell you what, that might have been there a while by the look of the algae, but that is a serious fish. It we is. won't even put him on the ruler because I tell you what, that will be 48 centimetres. Just one above you, eh? That is <laughs> bigger than mine again. I'll oh. give him a peck, will I? Okay, I'll let you do that. And you want me to release him? Ah, uh, you can. Look, that's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm sorry about that, mate. Okay. Now, here we go. Hey, you ready to go for me with the tag in him? Oh, he's ready, all right. Look at that. Gee, he's gone. Look at all the food in him there. So what do you yeah. reckon about Queensland bass? They're very good and this is a great spot to come. It certainly is. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> what do you reckon about Queensland bass? It's pretty good fun <laughs> fishing. <laughs> good fun, folks. Throw that popper in there, short. There's about three million more queenies right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and get a double. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gee, that good He's got some grunt. Well, here we are in the Cumberland Strait in the Wessel Islands. And I'm here with Sean Smith, skipper of swordfish. And we're uh, doing a bit of popper fishing. And it's white knuckle stuff. We're fishing in this big rip that's coming around the corner. Yeah. Which way are you going, fish? <laughs> oh, oh, there's a big shark sharking. there. There's a big shark too. 
bit of Action trouble here. Action, here. Oh, we got a little one. I got worry string, so I'll let you go first, Bushy. Okay. Well, I've just got a little oceanic cleaning. I'll try and release. But this is absolutely white knuckle fishing. We've got fish going everywhere. That's a popper. Ooh, that was lucky. Now what yes. Sean and I are doing here is loosely termed popper fishing. Now a popper is just a surface lure that you can cast from a rod rather than troll. Now that's a pencil popper. There are a number of different sorts of poppers, but basically they all are made to skip along the surface of the water. So these big queen fish, even mackerel, GTs, they come along, they herd the bait fish up to the top, and once the fish get up to the top, there's nowhere else to go, so they just go for their lives and flee along the top. So what we're doing is casting this popper out and winding it as fast as we can so that it skips along and looks like a real fish. Now, if you come up here and you want to set up, it's yes. pretty simple. All we've got is just a little wire trace on here so that these fish don't bite our line off, and maybe a small double, and uh, screw that drag up really, really tight because some of these fish are big. What have you done, Sean? I uh, just dropped one. That's no good. I'd better get up there and catch one. Oh, he's oh. all over me. Come on, nail it. Yes, I got him. Yep. I think it was big queen fish, but there was a big trevally in there too. All right, come on, fish. Oh, this one just came out, put his whole back out of the water and slammed it. And underneath us here we've got lumps of rock and coral, so we've got to be fairly tough on the fish to keep them up. That's a nice queenie. Yeah, oh, go, you good thing, go. Sean's doing battle over the other side of the boat. If you ever get up to the West Islands, oh. you're going to get tired arms. Oh, they're, oh, they're nice trevally too, all around us. Trevally everywhere, Sean. Don't panic, don't panic. I think panic's a good theory at the moment. Yeah. I'll come down here and see what I can get the hooks out. Because we're releasing these fish, we're using the barbless hook, so that makes it a little bit easier. Oh. I think it's changed fish about three times, but I've still got one. Okay. Now, this is not a particularly big queenie, but he's easy to hold, so I can give you a nice look at him. He's just, they're just beautiful fish. They also call them skinnies because they're very thin all the way through. And leather skins is another thing that they call these fish because the skin's very, very tough. But they've got that beautiful green along the back and silver, just like a mirror, iridescent dots down the side. They're just a beautiful sport fish. OK, we'll just slip him back in the water and he's giving us a bit of fun. Here he goes. See you later. And he's away. Whoa. That's not a louse, Sean. You've got a bigger one than I've got. Oh, every now and again you get that. It's not too badly hooked. Get him out of there. Stay still, matey. There we go. Dr Beautiful. Bushy will help him. Nice release. So, uh, what brings you back to the Wessels all the time, Sean? Action like this. <laughs> Action like this. So, how long have you been fishing in the Wessels? Uh, on and off since 1983. Really? And, uh, well, the first time I came up here was to do some professional fishing for a mate of mine. And uh, I saw this and... Excuse me, Sean. <laughs> just couldn't help keep coming back. <laughs> and back and back and back. Uh, yeah, I think I might be back and back and back as well. I just threw that popper out and landed and went three feet. And another fish hammered it. A, a great fish, though. Oh. They're very spectacular. They like, love to jump. <laughs> They fight very hard. They, uh, and on poppers, you get the visual, the visual of them taking the lure. It, uh... I know that's what I love about the popper fishing, Sean. It's, it's fighting the fish as well, but it's those fantastic takes that you get. Popper comes along and you get that big boil and it disappears. I guess you could say it's sort of the uh, grand tour of fishing, isn't it? It's like the, the oh. races on Saturday, the car races in a big V8. Now, yeah, and they come out of the out of the water chasing your popper, they look a bit like V8s, <laughs> all lined up. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, it's hard work, Sean. There's only one thing that I'm a bit uh, worried about. How come Viv's the owner of the swordfish, you're the skipper of the swordfish, and you're doing all the fishing and Viv's doing all the work? Well, Bushy, I like fishing just as much as the next bloke, and uh, I do just about anything to get a bit of time on the rod. <laughs> when we're surrounded by fish like this, who wouldn't? Well, I can't find any uh, fault in that argument, Sean. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. <laughs>